Okay, this will be fun. So on the left hand side we have the traditional Do Re Mi scale with it going up and down like this. On the right hand side we have the new heptatonic parallel Do Re Mi 2 scale which sounds like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 21 Perception Shift. In today's stream, we re-entered by reflecting on a bunch of stuff, but basically working on our simplicity composition that we started in the last series, not series, but stream. And um, with simplicity, we are investigating perception shift in two ways. We're shifting between major and minor modes and we're shifting between um, traditional Do Re Mi and a modified Do Re Mi. So what do we mean by a modified Do Re Mi? Well you heard us play uh, the traditional one here it goes like but we modded it. It sounds like this. And where these balded notes are, those are the two notes that changed. What are those two notes? Well, this is the traditional Do, Re, Mi scale here on the left. And it uses a green D and a green F note. But on this, on the right hand side, the modded, we changed the D out for a D flat and the F for a G flat. So we changed two notes. Now the interesting thing about these green notes is that they are so-called none notes. They, they're not a mode which establishes rest. They're not an urge which establishes energy, and they're not a uh, a root or or or, or ne neutral which is kind of um, rest energy. They're in between notes, and in the traditional do re mi scale, there are four no function notes, the D and the F, and then it turns out that the minor and the major have their own no notes, uh, B flat and A. All we did, all we did was take this and this to be our green notes. And yet we can hear what a huge difference it makes for what would theoretically be say, oh, it's no function, who cares? So that's the first perceptual shift. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the two variations. And then we'll talk about our second shift. So this is the traditional. Now we're going to play only two notes changed in all of that. And how does this come out?
now there's a perception shift. So on the one hand, we say, well, that sounds off. Those notes sounds off. But on the other hand, if you let them play in context with the whole scale, they make their own energy progression. So that's why we're so interested in working with HPO2, as we call it. Now, we did say we were working with a second perceptual shift, perception shift, and that is the, the difference between minor and major modes. So now we're going to remind you what this sounded like. And over here. And now we reflected them. We called it a reflection in place. We took every note on the top part and reflected it down. And by reflection, uh, we just mean what you see here. The, the C reflected down to the G. You can see the little arrows here. The B, reflect, B reflected the A flat, etc. So there's like a, a mirror here. So this is what you get this way. And same thing over here for the second scale. What does it sound like when it is reflected in place? Perception shift. So that ends today's stream. What we like about the work today, a couple things. We learned that being obsessive with our annotation helped us uh, a lot in trying the different, we should write that down. Being obsessive with annotation helps with keeping the transposing straight. Very easy to get confuzzled. So we did that. Um, our ideas for next time are to uh, double check our scores and then keep experimenting. One of the things we'd like to do with uh, this one is we, we like playing it all together at the same time. And we did that on an earlier piece. But you can hear where the notes clash periodically, so they're not fully consonant. But in an earlier piece, we were able to switch stuff around a little bit where we could play them all together, and they played nicely together. Basically, you have to take the minor, the second part, and swap. That's why we labeled everything line one, line two. This is what the second scale sounds like all together. <laughs> the shared notes clash a lot here. Um, shout outs to 
bboy17 who stopped by and Miss Clea who helped keep us inspired. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do come back. Do take care and do keep on streaming.